We're back out here on the savannas of Africa. We're out here on Verhunga Savannah, and we're gonna be trying to take down as many capes as we possibly can. We got a really good spot right up here where we're gonna set the tripod up and see if we can't take down as many as possible. In fact, there's a really nice seven right out there. So let's set up our tripod and see how many we can get. We unfortunately forgot to grab some bullets for our 4570. But we got the 338 Magnum locked and loaded. Going for about a 315 yard shot here. And we have, looks like two bull and three cows. Let's go for this one first. I think we actually may have hit the same one twice. Reload, reload, reload. All right, here we go. So we got a nice herd of buffalo cutting across here at about 250 yards out. I don't know if we're going to be able to set up the tripod here. So we're just going to try and take down as many as we can. Oh, we got two good hits. Where's the mail? There he is. Three good hits. Might have been a little bit back, but that, sh that shot there should have been money. Right in front of him. Right in front of him. As you can see, there's only three more running. That means we took down two already. Out there, roughly 315 now. So it's gonna be a good bit of a lead, but... Oh, that should have been perfect. And that looked good. And that had potential. You gotta remember, these things are tough. So if you don't put a good hit into them, they are not going down. I'm talking about 400 yards now. I think both those shots were right on. Let's see what the pressure looks like. Yep, yeah, I believe we took down the whole entire herd of capes. That's what I was looking for. We found the rest of the capes out there. Good 400 yards out, but this time we can definitely set up the tripod. Whoa, we actually can't set one up here. We got to move over a little bit more where it's flat somewhere. Maybe here. Okay, there we go much better now we're about 300 yards out from him there's the seven right there in the back or is that him in the front it's got to be him in the front actually huge mythical that's actually down potential for a mythical 300 yards out and another nice seven out there too so there's two big sevens and one huge mythical 300 yards all right we're gonna hold right for the heart and hopefully we hit it oh, that would have been a perfect shot but then he stepped out still a perfect shot it was he smoked he's going down i was a little bit worried that we missed the heart and though we did, we still made an amazing connection. We're definitely going to pick this one up. And that was actually a 302 yard lung shot. Got him a little bit too far back for the heart, but it's a giant 146.19. That thing's actually bigger than a nine legendary. I've seen small nine legendaries that didn't even score this much. And I mean, look at the horns on that. Wow. I would love to get a bighorn nine legendary diamond cape buffalo with this fur type. It just would be so cool. Look at how bright that thing is. We may be slightly under attack, but we also have a giant female Gemsbok out there. Roughly 400 yards out. We're going to set up this tripod here because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of capes nearby as well. And we got these warthog near us too. Which we could always pull up the 4570 and take some of them down. However, it doesn't look like they're going to be coming this direction anytime soon. So yeah, let's go for a shot on this one. 350 yards. Incredible shot, but man, is she tough. 
I would have thought for sure she would have dropped from that shot. She is going down. But she went a pretty good ways. Another decent one out there. We'll let her be though. We'll let her be because that's not really what we're after. Our primary focus is the capes. Well, let's go for this male out there, roughly 350 yards. And then we'll go grab our female. I mean, that's a tough, tough angle, but I think we connected. Yeah, we definitely did connect. Got a cape coming through here somewhere. Not gonna see it. Oh, right there. You really got to hold a good lead on these things. But we got it. Let's go. Oh, something's coming this way. Something's coming this way. Right there. I just saw it. What is it? What is it? What is it? It's a cape. Just smoke that one. Big seven. And I think we smoked him. If not, that should help bring him down as well. All right, here is our giant female. It's going to be a 305 gold. Perfect double lung shot. Absolutely dead center at 333 yards. But a little bit shy of diamond. All right, so now we're going to go back over here and check to see if we did, in fact, make a nice shot on that running level 7 cape. If not, we know there's for sure one piled up over here. I'm not sure what it is. I'm pretty sure it may be actually a female. Oh, it's piled up right there. All right, so let's check. We got blood here, but very low, and that is from a female. So then what is this? That is a male. Got him on the run at 200 yards out. Lung, liver, stomach shot. So then did we make a good shot on the seven? Is the next question. That's a female. That is not good blood, but I don't think that's from our seven. Well, whatever is there here is, uh, oh, that's the one that we're tracking. Okay. That is the other female and perfect shot. It was actually going straight for the heart. What an incredible shot, but still not the one that we're looking for. All right, so we took the shot right here. And I'm pretty sure it ran back this way. Yep, ran this way. Now this would be an extremely difficult track job if he didn't have tracks on. Like, almost impossible to track him through there. But he's laying right here, and our shot did connect on lung and liver at 375 yards, 287. All right, here we go. We got a couple more bulls out here. This time, we're going to try and get all of them for once. And I think we did pretty good. Not only that, they're coming right towards us. We're going to attack. That. Wow, this thing is doing absolutely nothing to these capes here. This is unbelievable. Is that really not going to fall? Whew. Tough Cape Buffalo. Wow. All right, she finally tipped over and he actually, that's a she as well. Oh, wow, is that thing tough. We got one bullet left, but I think it should tip over. Yep. Well, it's official. We're gonna be going for our farthest ever dime potential Cape Buffalo. He's out there at 400 yards, and we're going to be trying to take the shot with a 338 bolt-action rifle. Now, in this case here, 
Yeah, I wouldn't mind trying to take down as many as possible. But at the same time, I also wouldn't mind just taking down one. I don't know, there's a seven out there too, and there's just a ton of buffalo right there. So we're going to set up the tripod and we'll for surely take down, of course, the nine. And then after that, we're going to try and get as many as we can. But we need to make sure we take one good shot on this guy. Here we go. 400 yards. I mean, at this point, we can't even really tell what we're aiming for. Reload, reload, reload. I know for a fact we definitely smoked the nine. I'll tell you that 100%. Even that thing's going down. Boy, that was a super, super far shot. And we actually held above the heart as well. Whoa! Holy! Here they come! Got him. Tried for a headshot. And we got him. There was two, I'm pretty sure. I think the other one took off, though. Yeah, he chickened out. Oh, there they go. There's a six. There's a five. Oh, kudu. Lots of kudu. Now we got to remember. Oh, there's hardly any hunting pressure out there now. That's another female. There's the five that we tried to get in the end. And clearly made a missed shot, but... I'd say we could finish off this female at least. Got her. There is definitely quite a few hit here. So we'll just have to kind of track them down. On our own and see what... Oh my god, no way! It didn't go down. It didn't go down. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'd really like to know where in the heck we hit then. If that shot didn't take him down. The worst part is we just missed him on the run. Well, it was kind of a good thing that we missed. Let's be real. 401 yards, quartering away, and we connected. But the one that we shot was facing just like this. I think it was like this. And we were holding for right here. We definitely should have hit somewhere around here. So I don't really know what happened on that shot. But that one's piled up right there. And our nine did in fact go down. You know what I think happened? Is that our nine legendary came back. He came back to life. And then he ran over here. That's the only logical explanation that I can think of. As to how in the heck that thing didn't go down from that shot. This cape is piled up right there. Our nine ran through here somewhere. Yep. It's piled up right there. Let's check one thing once here. Can't tell from that, but... It's a diamond! Woohoo! We saved him on the run! What the heck? Are you kidding me? 2,000 pounder, baby. Wow. All right. Let's find out what in the heck happened on this first shot. What? What? I mean, we hit low shoulder. 
Yeah, they're going to have a tough shoulder, but we hit low. I, I could see if we hit here, you know, that's high shoulder, potentially vertebrae. You're going to stop there, but we hit it perfectly. Just didn't get any penetration and it stopped right on that front shoulder. Right there. Unbelievable. I mean, can't even really get mad about that. But then the most impressive part is the follow-up shot on the run, 277 yards. And we connected on a nice long shot. Look at that. Wow. What a huge buffalo. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm going to say. He came back to life. He definitely came back to life. Because after that first shot, he shouldn't have gone 50 yards and tipped over. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> What a follow-up save shot, though. What a follow-up shot. All right, guys, on that note, that is going to be it for this video. Um, what a drastic turn we had in today's hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. I mean, I don't think we could have done any better with the 300 Magnum, to be honest. We had the most powerful rifle there is. And it just did absolutely nothing to this cape at 400 yards. Just nicked the shoulder, too. It's not like we hit dead center. Just nicked it. Now, I'll be real with you. If we're under 200 yards, or even under 300 yards, we're going through again long. But because we're 400 plus yards out, we hit that shoulder, and it stopped. 399.9 yards. Close enough to 400 yards in my book. And I love that pose though.